There's a bit of an unspoken rule in the performance car space. The more you spend, the more speed you get. Well today, I want to put that theory to the test, pitting Volkswagen's $50,000 Golf R against a car that's worth twice as much and needs little introduction, the BMW M2. On paper, this might seem like a lopsided comparison. A $50,000 four-cylinder hot hatch against a $100,000 inline six Super Coupe. These cars are at opposite ends of the spectrum and they appeal to different demographics. But even so, this little test ought to make things interesting. The newly updated Golf features a two litre turbo four with 213 kilowatts on offer. Good enough for a 5.2 second 0 to 100 time when matched with the six speed manual. For reference, the updated M2's three litre inline six is good for 272 kilowatts and 465 newton meters, notching triple figures in 4.5 seconds in manual form. It should be the perfect place to see whether the M2 is twice the car of the Golf R, or if it's simply twice the price. Each car gets three laps around the short circuit with the best time recorded and set as a benchmark. The M2 goes first and not surprisingly comes home with a blistering 59 second lap time with a regular hack at the wheel. It should be pointed out that earlier this year our own resident racer managed a 56.94 second time in the same car. Well, I'm certainly no Luke Yulden, so a sub 60 second time around this place, pretty good. The M2, incredible. Like clockwork, yet so playful, so much fun, so precise. A really good car. Let's see how the Golf goes. One thing is imminently clear with the Golf R, it is a point and shoot device. That raspy engine, easy to use manual and all wheel drive grip allow it to blast out of the blocks. And it's not long before we come to grips with that playful chassis. The inherent trait though, for good or bad, is that it handles like a front drive car, which means the front tires are prone to pushing wide and it simply cannot get its power down as early as the tail happy M2. With standing those points, the Golf R storms home with a 60.7 second lap time putting it surprisingly within touching distance of the M2, at least on the time ball. So, would you be prepared to save $50,000 for the sake of one and a half seconds? Well, around a place like this, that's what makes the Golf R so favourable. But then you have the other side of the ledger. The M2 is just so much fun. And for many people, you could never put a figure on fun factor.